Hey guys, this is Grim from Grimmazo Books Reviews, and today we're going to take a look at something new. So this here is the Universal um, Mechanical Maintenance Frame Upgrade. At least that's what it says at the bottom of the box here. Um, I bought this on BBTS, and what I mean... I because I, I I wasn't gonna buy it, but seeing that I was you know ordering like a whole bunch of stuff, I said, let me just try it out and see how it goes, because uh, there's not many like reviews on this or any kind of thing like that. So I said, let me give it a whirl. Now the thing is, it's on BBTS. It's recommended that this is to be used like with one one forty four scale kits, but after buying it and having it in my hand. You can, it can, you could probably use it for sitting master grades as well. So let's get everything out of the box, have a quick look, and start building it. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic I Go. to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to be I'm on it, I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep them out your face, no way you don't want it, yeah Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight this Freedom is Priceless, spread just like a virus, living in a crisis Do you feel courageous? Do you seek greatness? Trust me, you can take it, go on and take your aim I was built to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break the glass, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast and you learn how to beat them
Okay, so here we have the base all put together. Now the thing is, when building this, when it comes to the instructions, they're not too clear in the beginning, but as it progresses on, you, sh you actually see that it, it starts to come together and it, be it becomes a lot simpler. So just take in mind that knowing that if you see like pieces of like paper like this, where they said corrections, um, don't get too worried or flustered and I mean it's basically the same thing that they have in the in the bigger manual but like I said just you know take your time with it in the beginning and before you know it you'll be actually flowing through this kit and have it built so definitely be precautious well like I said in the beginning take your time with actually this first diagram here and then, uh, like I said, it'll come together like without a problem. Starting from the top, we have these mechanical arms which swing in almost any direction. And the beauty about these arms is that the claw to the top it's actually really really solid it's like you could put almost anything inside here and knowing that it's gonna be literally it's not gonna fall or any kind of thing like that so which is uh, yeah so as you can see it's not moving anywhere with this once it gets a good grip onto it these actually fold up really nicely. Stay to the top. Like I said, you can have it in any position you want. Which is nice. Everything went together really well with these, so can't complain. Alright, moving on. Here we have the platform levels. And the thing about this, you can actually arrange the height to whatever height you want. So if you want it on the lower level, because you have a short Gundam, you can have it right here. If you want it to the top, this is all the way to the top. And it locks into place once you push in this little lever right here. You push it in and it doesn't go anywhere once it's on that height. Once you, well, once you put it in properly, it won't go anywhere. There we go. And it's a nice solid connection. These arms, they swing out, they close. So, pretty simple on that end. Alright. If you go lower, you have these little, I guess, storage areas where you can store the weapons and stuff like that. Um, to add, if there's a QR code on the back of the manual where you could actually go to the website and check out exactly like what certain people have, like did with their bases and stuff like that. So, like for instance, some of these stuff is like um, they give more examples of like 144 kits, like for instance, um, like the real the new real grade new Gundam. So. I mean, like, for instance, like, the weapon units and stuff like that, the armor pieces, they all, you know, like, these all have, like, certain functions for those pieces, so, um, it's not good, I don't think it's gonna work with, like, certain things are gonna work with, like, like maybe, like, a master grade or any kind of thing like that, but, these here could actually, like, store weapons, so, for instance, you have a top shelf here, you have one bottom shelf right here, um, there's these little gimmicks here that um, I guess, well, attached to this here, but I'm not too sure what these are for, but the beauty about this, this it's yours, so you could, you know, do anything with it. Whatever fits or holes, you could, uh, you could think, so you could probably even stick a shield here, you could stick a shield on top here, a bazooka here, you know, a couple of ri rifles and stuff like that here, along here. Um, like I said, these construction pieces in the back here, 
are well from what I've uh, I've seen are used for like maybe fin funnels and stuff like that. But again, it's up to you. Whatever fits, you could um you could you know do it as well. All right. So let's take a look and see like what actual skill Gundam could actually work with this base. Here we have our 144 scale. This here is my Devon Wolf. Looks pretty good. Now the thing is the Devon Wolf is almost the size of your average master grade. So which is a good sign that all well mostly master grades around this scale would actually work with this on um, base. So as we know, let's take a look at and see what other well, what master grades would actually work with this guy. So here we have my Zaku. It fits without a problem. This space, you can add the weapons and stuff like that, which is nice. It could close without a problem. Stuff like that, which is good. Unicorn Gundam. The Unicorn Gundam actually fits in this with auto problem. Here's a side view of it. So, like I said, it, it works actually. So, the only like kits you'd find that it's like, um, it, it's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna work with. Yeah, you know, kits like the, um, the Shinanju. Definitely, this is Abby. Like for the Shinanju, definitely can't fit. The Shinanju is too big of an actual mobile suit to f actually fit into this, so. Definitely kinda sucks, but what can you do? It is what it is. I have my Exia. The Exia is pretty, you know, it's not really a big mobile suit. So definitely the Axia could actually fit inside it without a problem, so which is good. Yeah, so for those, but last but not least, because I'm not taking off every master grid off the shelf to see if it could fit. Here we have my 2.0 Zeta Gundam. And this uh, looks spectacular inside this thing, so. Well, like I said, you can take weapons. Put it on each side. Put this on top here, like so. And, like I said, the shield. Again, you could either one put this below, or you could put the shield on top. Either or, you know, at the end of the day. Put this below, like so. You can have this on top here. It holds weapons pretty good. So, yeah. yeah. Also to add, you get this little um, piece, well, this little box plate here. And what I, this is, it's just basically an option piece for the flooring. There's a big hole at the bottom, so if you want to have this piece instead of having just a flat um, place, you can have it as well. So, And like I said, the good thing about it is not too expensive like other mechanical bases. You could literally probably buy, have like maybe about 40s if you wanted to. But yeah, definitely I, I, I love the playability with it. it you know, it, there's a lot you could actually do. You know, you, like I said, paint these up. If, like I said, it even looks good by itself. You don't necessarily need to paint it up if you don't want to. There's no major like knob marks, which is actually kind of cool about it. So the cleanup is very, you know, minute. So definitely, I give this almost literally an 8 out of 10 because of, of that factor. So with that said guys this is coming down to the end of the video um 
If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay safe and peace out.